Today we are working on chapter 9, 9.1, which is line plots. So with line plots, we are basically looking at multiplying and possibly dividing fractions. Um, so continuing what we've been doing through chapter 7 and 8. Um, and we're going to set up the line plots. And the only math that you guys are going to have to do is multiplying fractions, and then you may have like one or two where you divide, okay? So we're going to start with um, a line plot. So when you look at the problem, and I'll post the problem so that you can actually see um, what I'm working from, because usually when you have these types of problems, you have um, a question, and then it gives you information, and you have to put them into the line. So you want to make sure that you're able to know where this information is coming from. A lot of times they may just give you the line plot um, and you're just working from those numbers. Um, so <clears throat> if you look at your PDF, um, we're going to start with the first part. Um, and it says use the data to complete the line plot and answer the questions. A clerk in a health food store makes bags of trail mix. The amount of trail mix in each bag is listed below. So that's what I have written up here. So it's going to give you all of these fractions. There's 12 fractions. And what you do with those fractions is that you put them onto the line plot. So the best way that I find to do this is simply going through each number. So your first number here is 1 fourth. So I'm going to go through and count how many 1 fourths I have. So I have 1, 2, three, four, and that's just going to mean four X's go up above the one fourth to get me um, to my line plot. Um, next is one half. We have one, two, three, four. All right. And for three fourths, we have one, two, three, four. And I've used up all of my numbers that we started with in the problem, so I know I have them all on my line plot. Um, when you do your examples, I'm going to just give you the line plot with the X's on it already, but I just want you to know that sometimes you will be given problems where you have to put the numbers or the fractions onto the line plot, and you're just counting and having X's with how many go on top, okay? So there's four of each of our numbers here. So we're going to look at this first part here. These fractions are actually pretty easy. So um, when you have fractions as simple, you can do a lot of them in your head. Um, so for the first part, um, the first one is done for you. What is the combined weight of the one-fourth bag? Um, so you're combining, you're adding, or you're multiplying in this case because we have four times. So one-fourth times... One, two, three, four is the problem that we're working on. So one fourth times four, which is really over one, and that gives you four over four, which is really one whole. You could also do this in your head. If you think of one fourth, um, that's a quarter of a pound. A quarter is 25. If you have four quarters, you have one dollar. Same thing with one fourth. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth fourth plus one fourth is four fourths or one whole. Right, so that's an example of one that you can probably do in your head um, if you're thinking in terms of whole numbers. So one fourth, there's one pound, and it is important to have that on the end. Right? Um, the next one we want to figure out is one half, the combined weight of one half bags. One half is another one that you can easily do in your head because you know that one half plus one half equals one whole. So you have one, two, three, four. So if you put two of them together, that's one whole. And the other two together is one more whole. So one plus one is two. So we know that we have two pounds total of the one half pound bags. And then the last one, three fourth pound bags. And we're multiplying that times four. Um, and that one, some of you might be able to do in your head. If not, you write it out. So three-fourths times four, and that's four over one when you're multiplying. You have 12 over four. 
and um, you can divide that easily in your head. If not, you write it out. 4 goes into 12 3 times, and that equals 3, and that's 3 pound bags. Okay. Um, next, it wants to know what the total weight of the trail mix. So these numbers are really simple. You can, again, do this in your head. You have 1 plus 2 plus 3. That's the total. Total means add. That's one of your keywords. Um, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is going to give you 6 pounds total. So all of this added in together is 6 pounds. Um, and then the last question, what is the average amount of trail mix in each bag? Anytime you see the word average, that is another keyword for you. And average means to divide. So you have your 6 pounds, which is your total and you're dividing by how many you have. So when you write out your number, um, you have to count back into how many total you have here. So there's 12 total. So we had six, hopefully we can see this. Six is the total amount over your total number, which is 12, six twelves, is really one half when you reduce your fraction. So the average is going to be one half Mama. for this. All right, so when we go down and we look at the second question, it Mama. says Julie uses crystals to make a bracelet. The lengths of the crystals are shown below. So again, it's giving you all of the different fractions. I already put it into a line plot. We have four different fractions, three eighths, one half, five eighths, and three fourths. So we have three, four, three, and four when you take all of those fractions together. So the combined length of the one half crystal. So this is where you're going through your fractions and you are multiplying times the amount of what you have. So let me try writing with blue. The black here might be better. So we have three eighths and we're multiplying that times three. So your first fraction here, 3 eighths times 3, and that's 3 over 1, Let's see if that's coming up, 3 times 3 is 9 over 8, and we reduce, or we turn that into a mixed number, 8 into 9 goes 1 time, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 1 eighth, so we have 1 and one eighth as our total. We're going to go to one half next. Mama, what is that level? Okay. So we have one half and we have one, two, three, four. So again, one half we can do is in our heads. Is that a good yes. answer? One half plus one half, so it's one whole, two holes. Next we have five eighths. Good morning. And we're multiplying that times three. <gasps> So we have 5 times 3 is 15, 8 times 1 is 8, eight. and we divide eight. 8 into 15, eight. which goes 1 time, and, then oh. and we're left with 7 eighths, seven eight. so we have 1 and Two. 7 eighths, one and then our and final seven. one, and then we have 3 fourths, 3 fourths, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and that gives us 12 fourths, which is really three whole. What? And now to find now to the total length of all the crystals in the bracelet is just adding up our four totals for each fraction. So I'm just going to circle them. And then with these types of fractions, we can actually do them in our heads. Because we have one eighth plus 
7 eighths, 1 plus 7 is 8, so that gives us 8 eighths, so it's one whole. And then you're just adding all of the other whole numbers up. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, Four. back up. That's 4 plus cool. 1 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's going to give you the total, total means adding, the total for and all of these AR. is 8. Eight inches. Did you have inches on the end there? No. And then again, when you get to um, the average length for each crystal in the bracelet, back up. Oh, what's what's your each crystal in the bracelet? Oh, how many is that? Mm -hmm. So we have one, two, three, four, so five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, seven, eleven. Nine, 12, 13, 14. So that's 8 over 14. And I'm going to make sure you guys can see this. I'm going to write it up at the top here, I think. 8 over 14. And we reduce that. 8, um, you can divide by 2 is 4. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And that is your average for uh, four sevenths of an inch. Okay. So um, your form for today with the math is just going to be um, figuring out your fractions, dividing. Um, your answers are actually going to be whole numbers. So you're just oh. going to put the answer oh, in right. the form. It's not going to be multiple choice today, but you should be able to write it's a number, one whole number as your answers for each of them. And um, I'm going to do two or three problems. We'll see what fits on there. Um, and again, you're just multiplying and dividing fractions. So the same as what we've been working on, just looking at them in a different way, using them in a more, um, I guess, real life situation. You will maybe someday use this. Um, and when you're finished the video, you're going to also link to the con video and then you're going to work on the Google form.